Good. So thank you, Muna, for such kind words. I really, um, you know, appreciate all the words that you have said to me and welcome all of you to this Art of Storytelling session. So I would like it me to uh, make it more interactive. So, you know, be, uh, be with me and enjoy this session with me. So, so let's start. Let's warm up, reach up high to the sky, everyone. And wiggle, 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 wiggle. Reach up high to the sky and wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your knees. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle your tummy. And wiggle your bum. And wiggle your nose. Reach up high to the sky and wiggle, 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 wiggle. Tap everyone. Tap on your lap. There we go. Hello, everybody. So glad to see you. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad to see you all. And today we're going to talk about art of storytelling. Why storytelling? Early years is important in terms of brain development and the experience that young children have with the relationship in, with the important people like their educators, like their parents and their caregivers, they literally shape the brain development. What parents and educators can do to support the brain development is to get to know the young children, is to able to read that children's clue and to be able to engage in what we call serve and return. What is serve and return? It's an is a interaction that goes from both the direction. For example, a baby when he makes sounds, coo, coo, ba, ba, and we make that sound back. And when the baby smiles and we smiles back, and when the babies point out to something and we look at that, this is serve and return. So serve and return is very important in early years and in terms of toddlers, preschoolers, we talk to children. We talk to children, we show them different things, we engage with them, that is serve and return. And how we can have that serve and return is through um, sorry. Yes. How, how we can have that, that serve and return is by, is we can have it in our, in our daily routine. Uh, you know, we can tell stories in daily routine. And one of that type of serve, serve and return is singing song, playing with them and telling stories. We can tell stories uh, while changing their clothes uh, during lunchtime, having, giving them bath, in bedtime, or if you are earlier teacher, obviously in a circle time, in a classroom time, in a reading corner. So uh, for parents, you know, when they are changing their baby's clothes, you know, baby, put your pants on, pants on, pants on, baby, put your pants on, one, two, three, left to the leg, left to the right, wiggle and jiggle and put them tight. And when we were changing their clothes, we can have those pajamas, we can, you know, we can have those pajamas upside down and we can make a rabbit, John the rabbit. And what John the rabbit do, John the rabbit is going to Rohan's garden and he's cutting off his cabbage and he's cutting off his carrots and tomatoes and potatoes. What would uh, Rohan do? Rohan could have talked to, um, you know, John the rabbit and he, he can tell them, tell him that um, if you cut off all the cabbage and potatoes and plants, you don't have anything to eat. So, you know, we can make up our stories while talking to them, while getting them dressed or while feeding them. So these are the, and bedtime is the best time to have those kind of storytellings. And so, you know, we, can, we have to avail this opportunity to interact with child to have that kind of serve and return interaction. Okay, on one more example during um, during lunchtime and during uh, when we have those uh, lunch breaks, so we can have those, you know, 
knife, fork, spoon, and spatula. Zoya's uh, mother, Zoya's have a birthday today and Zoya's mother is preparing cookies and cakes for her and she put the knife, fork, spoon and spatula on the table and she turned on the cha-cha-cha music and she went outside to grab something and the knife said to fork that the cha-cha-cha music is so good. So the spoon said, why don't we dance? And they all dance. I'm a knife, fork, spoon, spatula, cha-cha-cha. I'm a knife, fork, spoon, spatula, cha-cha-cha. I'm a knife, fork, spoon. I'm a knife, fork, spoon. I'm a knife, fork, spoon, spatula, cha-cha-cha. So this kind of, you know, uh, story making we can do at uh, different daily routines. And, um, and if you have a toddler or a baby, you, we, we have those um, uh, lap bounds. A hip, a hip, a hip, a potamus. Get on, get on, get on the city bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, you are squishing us. A cow, a cow, a cow get on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, move over. A sheep, a sheep, a sheep get on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, back up. So this kind of, you know, stories through rhymes and songs and through lap bounds we can have. Okay, so now let's move to, uh, you know, we play with voices. We can make different voices and we can make a voice of a giant or a voice of a tiny creature or voice of animals. And best uh, place to practice is in, a, in the shower. When we are in the shower or in a car, we can practice, you know, different kinds of sounds that we can create. Fee, fo, fee, fum. Fee, fo, fee, fum. Fee, fo. Fee-fum, fee-fum, fee-fum. So, you know, try how many variations of sounds can you make so you can, you know, develop your characters. And, and the uh, animal sounds like ka, ka, meow, you know, ribbit, 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 ribbit. I had a little frog, his name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could sin. He drank up all the water. Look, 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 look. He ate up all the soap. And the bob last night. Bob, excuse me, from the bubble on his throat. And then you make a tiny kitty. Rip it, rip it. I had a little frog. His name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see. He can say she drinks up all the water. She eats up all the soap. And then she pops. Oh, excuse me. And I had a joint frog. His name is Joint Tim. I have I put him in the bottom. And then you can have some stylish, you know. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. I had a little frog. Her name is Sassy Tim. I put him in the bath to see if he could sing. She drinks up all the water. So you can develop different kinds of characters um, by having sound variations and you know different kinds of sounds. So this could be another way and uh, props. We don't need to make props, you know. Any, anything is available uh, at our home. For example, uh, you know, I have, you know, these blogs and these characters. And uh, so, uh, you know, soft toys, uh, Lego papers and socks. So I'm just going to tell you the, uh, how I do, you know, with these, uh, with, the, with these blogs, we can make, um, make a zoo, make a park, and we can take these creature, creatures like, like Ayan was going to, the zoo and he saw 
a lion and he was very upset and he asked to the Sher Khan, Sher Khan, why you are upset? Then Sher Khan said, oh my, I have a, a very severe stomach ache. Oh, uh, uh. Why? What happened? Somebody gave me uh, something yesterday and that upset my stomach. Yeah. You know, you can you can you know, develop these kind of stories um, with these blogs and these characters and then we have uh, soft toys and then we have characters, logos and then we have socks. You, you don't need to make up props from a soft. It, you just, you know, have those socks on. Just have those socks on. Yes, like this. You know, have those socks on and you can, you know, you can just make... Uh, you, you can just make a character. Let me tell you about my friends. Let me tell you about my friends. All about my friends. Let me tell you about my friends. I got baby over here. I got cutie over here. Pinky over here, cutie over here. Let me tell you about my friends. Pinky like to sing. La, 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 la. Cutie like to dance. Do, 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 do. Pinky like to sing. Cutie like to dance, let me tell you about my friends. And then you can carry on the story. You know, Pinky had fuzzy drinks. And her throat gone. And you know, you can carry on the something is with the song, with these, uh, with, the, with, the, with these socks. And you can have those, um, if you have those, uh, uh, you know, tapes. So you can, you can, you can cut the tapes and put the eyes if i hope you can see it like you, know, you can cut the tapes and you can put the eyes and you can say you know hello 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 okay and um, yeah and fingers you know you can make two fingers walk and they can you, you can make your own story you can use markers as a character you can you, you can use those wooden spoon and they can talk to each other and when you were in on uh, at a lunch table you can have those apples and talking to oranges you can you can make up those stories and and having a daily routine is very important you know we should have a reading corner at classroom at homes we encourage children to go to those reading corners and read read you read with them or they read to you or they read to those other siblings or they read to their soft toys you know, we can, we can, you need to create that kind of environment and uh, mm, what, and, and we have a bad time for uh, reading and what these reading will do, these read allows we do, they not only do the critical thinking, they have this imagination skills, language and literacy, but we have a chance to have healthy conversation about different things. You know, if something, if, if a COVID-19 is going on and how we can talk about the COVID-19 is through those stories or read aloud that we do. Okay, the other way of storytelling is finger play. No books, no props, just fingers. 5x and 5x makes 10. On the top is mother hand. Bok, 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 bok. Crack, 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 crack. What can I see? Ten fuzzy chicks as cute as can be. Choo -choo 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 -choo. So you can do the choo -choo 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 and children get excited. Okay, so we have, and we can have, you know, all different kind of stories like three little piggies sitting in a house when along came a wolf. As quiet as a mouse. Little pig, little pig. Let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So the old wolf huff. And the old wolf blew. Blew away those piggy. 
flew. So, you know, you can use uh, fingers, your voice, your expressions to narrate the story. And even the rhymes, the, the, those rhymes, you know, who have stories like, Five little ducks went out one day Over the hills and far away Mother duck says quack, 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 quack But only one little duck came back Mother duck says quack, quack, quack But none of the ducks came back, you know Mother duck says, quick, 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 quick. Then all of the five ducks came back. You know, you can make up those stories through songs, through your finger play. And you know, this is, and you can imagine it, this is a tree and these are five monkeys and the five monkeys are swinging in the tree and there is a alligator. And they were the monkeys were teasing the alligator. You can catch me. And then the alligator came quietly. And they hop, snap one monkey. You know? So you can have those kind of storytelling. Okay. So uh how many uh okay, so let's talk about making your own stories, you know. I have given you ample of examples how you can you make up your own story, uh, you know, in different daily routines and at lunch time, at bath time, at you know, when when you are changing clothes, when you are, um, you know, at a bed time. So how we can create a story? Every story, you know, is a have a beginning, at the middle, and the end. And uh, you know they have characters like you know and especially uh, children likes to have their characters like you know ayan is going to the park with his cousin zoe and you know inan so if they have real life characters which they can relate to they enjoy the story more so you have a story with this beginning middle and end you have characters you have setting like a park or a zoo you know rohan going to a zoo or you know Zoya is uh, having uh, mothers having preparing some food in the kitchen, so they have a setting, and there is something in the middle is going to happen that's going to change the situation. It's a climax, you know, and going to have a positive end. So we need to have this beginning, middle, and end of the story. We're going to have character. We're going to have a setting. We have going to have some problem that's going to create a climax in the story and is going to end in a in a positive way so this is uh, what the storytelling is and now let's talk about read aloud and i am going to read a book to you and the book is yes shark in the park Mm, and it's written by Nick Sherritt and the drawing, the illustration is also done by Nick Sherritt. What can you see here? Mm, there is a butterfly. There is a bee. What else? Mm, what is this? Oh no, is this a shark? Let's see the back of this book and let's see what it talks about the story. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope, what can you see? Your telescope. Is there is really a shark in the park? Go on, be brave. Open the book and see. Let's see. It's a shark. Shark in the park. Down at the park, a little boy is testing out his brand new toy. Oh, who is the little boy? Timothy. And he has his telescope. And see how many Allah's creation he is seeing. Mm, he's seeing trees, sun, animals, people. Yeah. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope is looking through his telescope. He looks at the sky 
he looks at the ground. He looks left and right. He looks all around. And this is what he sees. What a nasty surprise. In his loudest voice, Timothy cries. There is a shark in the park. A shark? Fancy that. It is only the cat. Meow. So you can have this kind, you know, but you know, you can tell the story in this way, and in, in this way, you can, you know, engage them, and you can the way you can hold the book and the way you have that sound and expression and make your voice to make, you know, and have those question, uh, questions to uh, get them engaged. And um, this is how you can introduce the book, and this is how you can give different clues to children to listen to the stories, you know, show them the back of the book and you know you know have that hype for the story and you can you know extend the story like you know the timothy has telescope so you can you can bring something like you know i this kitchen towel roll i or, or a chips uh, uh, you know box so you can you know make these as a telescope and you look through your telescope and you see uh, now let's see what we can see through our telescope and people and children will talk you know so we need to have different kinds of opportunity where uh, children start talking to each other okay so how much time we have left uh, um... so we have 10 more minutes to... oh great okay so uh, where is my share? share okay so in this way we can let's have one more story and then um, okay let's have one more story and then mm. Zug. Zug the bug Zug the bug it's a big book by colin and Hecky Hawkins. Have you heard? Have you heard of Z -ug, Z -ug, the bug? I am Zug the bug. That's a what a bug. Bug, bug. So this is how you do uh, stories through phonics, you know. So there's one another way of doing stories to phonics and you can have now um, the good boy song. We're going to have a good boy song and then you can, if you have any questions, you can ask me. Okay, so see you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile, give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Thank you so much, and I hope that you have enjoyed this session and um, you have got some you know, useful tips that you can take to your classes or take to your children. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. He has any questions, so we can take it. Yeah. So thank you so much, sir, for the wonderful session. Uh